Hi, this is a Raspberry Four set that I bought. There's a motherboard, liquid cooler, and the case, HDMI. Here is what later on I bought an extra keyboard so that it can perfectly work with Raspberry Pi Five. Hello, now I'm going to show you how to make the OS on Raspberry Pi Five. First, prepare SD card. We use 256 GB SD card. So let's plug in. So this drive come out. What we want is use disk utility. We are going to format this one. So we click erase and then choose the name, choose XFAT, which means that this file format can be rewrite on both Mac OS and uh, Windows. So it's erasing, it's complete. That's good. So next, we go to website, Raspberry Pi software website. We are going to run the imager. So first download from iOS. Oh let's wait. Okay, it's done. So let's open this one. Imager. And then copy here. Uh keep Replace. Okay, so it's here, image. Open. We choose device. We are always trying to do image OS on Raspberry Pi 5. Then choose OS. We want to use Ubuntu 10.0. 23.10 so let's choose Raspberry Pi OS other and let's Raspberry Pi OS Raspberry Pi OS so. other general purpose we choose Ubuntu and then there are two desktop OS so that's what we want we click this one and then we choose storage which is this one 256 gig Next, oh, it's in data generation. It will be doing this. Are you sure? Yes. Let's try once to make my changes. Okay. So now it's writing, it's taking time. So we will move forward faster to pass this part. Okay, let's wait. Alright, it's almost finished. It's verifying. It's almost done. Let's see. Finalizing. Blah blah blah. Oh, has been written. You can now remove the SD card. That's good. Okay, let's remove it. Here is the SD, and then there's a little one. Micro, micro SD. Let's take the device. This device is small, just the size is just as a, a credit card. 
So let's find out this one. Let's put in here. Okay. Then we have power cable. Power cable plug into this one. And then plug plug into the, the wall. And we need to have a micro HDMI to HDMI. So it's here HDMI one. And then let's go to here. Now here's the cable and the mouse. For the for the small Raspberry Pi five. Let's plug into the micro HDMI. No, this is not. Okay. This is. Oh, sorry. This is the USB. So let's plug into here. The, here, here is a micro USB. And uh, the mouse. Okay, let's switch. Source, HDMI 2. So it's black. So now it's turn on. Turn on the power. Maybe because this one should be go to the outside. Oh, we see something here. It's very small. I have error. Oh. Okay, this part is the metal. The metal part goes inside. So let's shut down and reboot it. This is red. Let's cut open it, open it, push it again. 
it takes time for it to boot up. So let's be patient. Oh, HDI1. Okay, let's go to HDI2. Oh, here it is. That's good. System config. Let's choose English. English, US. Okay, wireless. So I will choose my wireless. Taipei, Taiwan time. And continue. Your name, Jason. John. Computer's name, I will call it Raspberry Pi 5. Choose a password. Then continue. So it's configuring system, configuring the keyboard. Let's waiting. This is an extra one that I bought from website. It's bought it separate, separate with with the. Uh, Two times. The first time I bought the Raspberry Pi 5 chip. The second time I bought this keyboard. Okay, we go into here. Connect your online account. Let's skip it. Improve Ubuntu. Next. Privacy. 
location service next yeah ready to go so and okay with this one so now let's open terminal Let's make it bigger. Okay, let's try new fetch. So do we have the update? Okay, you see Ubuntu. Let's forget our eyes. Okay, we are good. Thank you. Thank you for watching.